What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today I got something really cool to show you. I got a competition pistol. This is a Bull Armory SAS2 SL Air. This thing is just so, so cool. It looks like something that would be in a John Wick movie. I mean, take a good look at this thing. It is just beautiful. I mean, I just love it. It looks so, so cool. So. I'm thinking about going and trying out a competition just for fun. I mean, I think it would be really cool. So if you're gonna go to a competition, why not have a slick competition pistol, right? So let me tell you a little bit about this thing. Um, it comes in nine mil, 40, or nine by 21. I went with 40 Smith & Wesson. I can't really explain why. I've got a lot of handguns and firearms and nine mil. So I figure why not go with the 40? I used to carry 40 on duty. I don't hate the round, so. I just went with 40. You have a five inch match grade barrel. You got a fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sight. You have ambidextrous safeties. You have an extended mag release. You have an extended mag well. Makes it super easy for really loading. Oh man, that is just so smooth. That is awesome. Uh, comes with three mags and the 40 holds 17 rounds. So you got 17 rounds plus one. But my absolute favorite thing about this handgun is the trigger two to two and a half pounds that is a light trigger and very crisp cannot wait to try this thing out oh yeah also this one comes with the picatinny rail which is really cool i don't know if you need a flashlight in competition i know some people actually put a light on their competition pistol just to add weight to it i don't know if i'll do that or not well no after today because i have never shot this thing i've waited to get out here with you with the camera for the first shot so that's enough talking let's go have some fun all right, well, I've got three shoot steel steel targets set up. I really need to paint those things. I haven't painted them in a while, but they'll still serve their purpose today. Before I blast these things, I want to say thank you to USCCA for sponsoring today's video. They offer concealed carry insurance, which I think is really cool. A lot of people conceal carry, but a lot of people don't think that they're ever going to actually be put in a scenario like that. But the reality is there's a good chance you could. And if you ever are, It'd be really nice to have someone on your side to help you with all of the legal matters that are going to come after that. It's a really bad situation for everybody, and it's great to have someone there for you in a time like that. If you're interested in their concealed carry insurance, use my link in the description down below. Again, a big thank you to USCCA for sponsoring today's video. All right, I'm all loaded up. Let's try this thing out. Okay. Woo, that's slick. That's really nice. That's awesome. Oh, I hate to drop such a pretty mag on the ground, but that's what it's for. That is slick. Okay, I got another mag loaded up. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. I'm not really sure how many times I missed. I'm sure I missed a few times though. Oh, we're gonna try one more time. For Jerry's sake. I think I missed like one time. I don't know. I know one thing though, I like this gun a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna move this big guy right here. By the way, this is oh, 
still rated for a 50 BMG, so uh, that 40 wasn't doing much to it. Now we're going to blast a few things. And I think that you know what we're going to start out with. Watermelon time! <laughs> we managed to hit our table at least once or twice. Those were federal HSTs and they were doing a pretty good job at busting up those watermelons. So up next, we're gonna shoot some eggplant. And I have to say, this is literally the biggest, most nastiest eggplant I have ever seen in my entire life. And speaking of eggplant, I gotta show you this. One of our viewers, Carson Loeb, I believe is his name, drew this. Nobody likes eggplant. How cool is that? So Carson, this is for you. Nobody likes eggplant. Oh, that one really hurt. That's a big eggplant. Big guys first. That just zipped right through him. It's not doing a whole lot to those eggplants. <laughs> those eggplants are so tough. Goodness gracious. I mean, just zip right through this thing, but got tore up pretty good, but I can't help myself. I got to kick the big one. Nobody likes big plant. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. So now I've got some sodas, but wait, there's more. Now I'm going to place some apples on top of the sodas and we got some pineapples. Oh, no. We popped that soda a little bit and all our apples fell down. I can see one though. Got that apple. Ow! Oh. Now I get the pop. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Here. It smells like uh, that homemade fruit punch when your mom puts like pineapple juice, soda, and all that. It smells like that over here. It smells good. Ugh. Oh, what was that? It was a piece of a motorcycle. How'd that get out of here? So I've ran out of stuff to shoot and I'm almost out of ammo, so why not burn it up on this steel? Try some one hand. <laughs> All right, uh, for those of you who actually don't do much shooting on the range, I'm gonna switch to my left hand. And the safe way to do that, put your safety on, keep your firearm pointed down range, lay it over into your other hand, you're good to go. That's the way to do it without getting yelled at by the range officer. And I can go to shooting again. I like training to shoot ambidextrous because you never know when you may have to use your other hand. Your right hand may not always work or whatever your dominant hand is. So it's good to practice that stuff. You know, all of your uh, firearms manipulations with your left hand. Just a little bit of education for you today. Okay, back to shooting. a little more comfortable with that thing now able to pick up my pace a little bit i like this a whole lot today's the first day i shot it i mean even with just a few mags i put through it i'm pretty impressed with it really excited to spend a little more time with it and maybe take it to a competition
So what did you think about my new competition pistol? And if I go compete, where should I go compete at? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're following me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And make sure you check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.